Hi everybody, um, I am going to start making more videos so I'm going to quit trying to be trying to edit everything and give you some blow by blows. So today I, I, I actually trimmed my hair so that's why it is blown out. Um, so what I did is I washed it, I conditioned it, um, detangled it with actually during the shampoo stage and then after I got out the shower I twisted it up all day on Christmas Day and just had um, two big chunky twists one going this way one going that way and then two in the back just to stretch it out um, and then I pulled it at night into a bun and it was still a little bit wet so um, and then I kind of brushed out the ends with using some M2 so I used M2 to detain I never try to brush my hair when it's like dry so I used M2 to wet it and then just kind of brush it out but in that process I trimmed my hair so um, in trimming my hair um, I divided it up into sections the tools that I used were the following these clips okay these clips I have a few of those I had a, I, well, I had a lot of those and um, I didn't do the curly girl method where there's like a, a twist and then I take it down to the end um, I just I eyeballed it um, and I went from there but I'm gonna show you I mean, when I do, I'm not a stylist. This is just what I do. So I'm not saying this is right and things like that. But with my hair, I'm not afraid to experiment, you know. So and I'll do this front section. Um, it's already been done. But um, what I like to do is take small sections because my goal is to eventually grow this out and get this light color off the ends because it's it's over I can tell it's over processed my dark hair is much more healthier than the the lifted hair the colored the light brown hair even though I do like it um but yeah so I'm gonna do so first of all make sure you get you a pair of hair cutting scissors Walmart go there and get you some don't cut your hair with paper scissors. These are sharpened and angled, the, the actual blades angled in some type of way for hair, okay? So my one little section, you see I'm just doing this. I have more clips, section off. So I take it down. Just to get that wet on the ends. I'm using a dimming brush today for this, not my Felicia Leatherwood brush, but I'm using that. So I take it, I eyeball it, and I like to see, and I can tell the difference, um, even with the trim that I did do. So, um, so I take it, no, I took off way, way, way more, okay? I'm going to show you what I took off. This is all that I took off. I trimmed off my whole head. But I just want to show you what I did. And and I'll get it trimmed by a professional somewhere throughout the year when I get my hair straightened. And that's it. I just take the tips off, okay? No fear whatsoever. You know why? It's going to grow faster because... It's not, I, I knew it was time for a trim because it just kept getting tangled at the ends, okay? And just kept tangling and it just was horrible. Now I can actually run my fingers through, it, this little piece of hair was getting tangled before I trimmed it. It was just, it was, hair, it was terrible. But it's going to behave better because um, it's, good to go you know this one doesn't need to be moisturized but just take it down to the tip you know how much you gotta take off and bam okay so I'm gonna do this 
the entire section. And really, you can kind of gauge it. I stick within that parameter so I know that this section is going to be a little bit bigger. Again, everybody, I'm not a stylist. This is just something, this is what I do. Okay. And if you're not afraid, um, if you believe your hair will grow back, and it will because it's going to be healthier, then get you a pair of hair cutting scissors and trim your hair. And really, one of my stylist um, friends, I asked her how often you should trim hair. Okay. You see, I just took it down to where I want and I trim it across. Bam. Okay. So I do this over my entire head, and I think I'm going to get this whole section a little more. Um, and what she said is like, so the question is, how often should you trim your hair? The way you answer that question is, how much manipulation do you do to your hair throughout the year? Do you wash your hair a lot? Do you do a lot of wash and goes? If you do a lot of manipulation, you're always in your head, you're... Um, every day or every other day, then you need to trim more. And this actually feels good. So I take it down and I just snip, snip, see, and that's it. Wait, that's it. Um, and there's no single strand knots because I, from the first trim, I got all of those in the first trim. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and finish up this. So the more you manipulate, back to that, the more, the more you manipulate your hair, the more times you have your hands in your head throughout the month, throughout the week, the more often you should trim. So I have a tendency to do a lot of wash and goes in comparison to, um, I'm doing less, but I do a lot of wash and goes. So I need to trim my hair more. So I trim my hair every three months. Okay, this is with a bigger trim because I just, I didn't have time. I haven't had time to get to it. And technically I wanted to um, cut this brown out eventually. I want to grow it out. And as you can see, it has grown quite a bit. This is a year and some change. Um, a year and two months of growth. So I'm excited about the growth that I'm seeing Okay, take it down. Can y'all see? You really can't see. <laughs> but here, okay. And I trim those ends, okay. So my hair is stretched out and I'll come back with another video to show you how what I do at night to keep my hair stretched out so um, so I can have the big hair okay so everything else is trimmed and this is my hair and you're like you know what about shape and things like that like you know well don't don't take a whole lot of hair off of here right and I only took a, the, the norm off the top, but I shape my hair. So this is a fro. Even if it was curly, I would shape my hair as so. These all come in so nicely. Okay. And you can shape it with your hands. It is, I mean, and I, I do, I pull. So I like to have a little bit more length in the back, height in the front. Okay, so this is it. So this is my hair, fresh, 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 freshly trimmed, and it is flowing better, you know? I love it. I love freshly trimmed hair. Thanks for watching. Um, stay tuned for my night and how I do uh, my nightcap, all right?